Thanks to everyone who has subscribed. If you have not, please do. And thanks for coming out here. I really appreciate you. Breaking news. On door 2020, Akeredolu convoy attacked as Governor Jigade's loyalist clash scores injured. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time we're reaching you today. A very warm big thank you to every one of you. Thank you so much. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up and to subscribe if this is your first time. I said those state election is uh, barely 36 hours away, three days precisely, Saturday 19th of September. Uh, in Ondo State as well, we have 23 days to go, count down 23 days to the all-awaited Ondo State governorship election. Uh, it has become like a practice where we are hearing of issues of violence and violence and violence. But thank God that peace treaties are being signed in Ondo State currently, but the wave of this violence is gradually moving towards the Ondo State governorship election, which is just 23 days away. We are hearing and matters reaching us right now is that uh, Governor Kerry Dolu, the current incumbent governor who is seeking a re-election under the APC platform, uh, convoy has been attacked. There's been an on-clash going on right now in Ondo State and um, a lot of people have been injured. A lot of issues are going on. Uh, it's all because of, um, you know, uh, who to be the governor of uh, Ondo State, 23rd, uh, 20, 10th of October, 23 days from today. Let's get onto the news and get all the details in full as to what is going on right now. Breaking news, Ondo 2020, Akere Dolu convoy attacked. Hmm. With 23 days to the governorship election, tension is currently brewing in Ondo State following the attack on the convoy of Governor Akere Dolu by political talks special, suspected to be the loyalist of the candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Jigade. According to sources, the campaign trail of Governor Akere Dolu, who is the candidate of the All Progressive Congress APC, was on transit through Oba Akoko to Ikare Akoko in Akoko Northeast local government area of the state when the incident happened. Meanwhile, the People's Democratic Party has said it was APC supporters who were in the convoy of Akere Dolu that attacked the campaign tray of Jigade when both convoy met at Oba Akoko in Akoko Southwest. Speaking on development, the spokesman of Akere Dolu campaign organizer Olubode Richard Olutunde said the attack led to the burning of one of the campaign vehicles in the convoy of the governor, adding that the driver of the convoy sustained serious body injury. While we are shocked and saddened by this attack, we are not too surprised because the People's Democratic Party has shown that it is not focusing on the issue of its campaign for the election. They are rather deploying violence and falsehood to score the cheap political points. Meanwhile, 10 political campaign vehicles in the convoy of Jigade were said to have been vandalized in the attack. It was gathered that Jigade was at the palace of Olu Oluba of Oba Nathaniel, the traditional ruler of the town, when he had gone to where he had gone to pay homage as part of his campaign visit to the town when the attack the attack allegedly struck. According to the publicity secretary of the People's Democratic Party, Kennedy Peter Ray, the attackers who were hoodlums stormed the location after the highlighting from the convoy of the governor. Peter Ray alleged that neither Akere Dolu nor the police operatives in the governor convoy did anything to stop the attackers. Everybody was taken by surprise. Akete people were passing before they stopped abrasively and before you could say, Jack, this masked men rushed down and started breaking Jigade's vehicle. When contacted the police spokesman in the state, T. Lord Ikoru, who confirmed the attack, stated that mobilized police have been deployed to the area on the on the to the area to organize the commissioner of police 
to speak on the issue. Well, my people, so this is becoming like a normal practice now. It's become a const common practice now where we are hearing election violence. This ought not to be. This is, this is something that should be condemned, not encouraged, not allowed at all. This practice needs to stop. As a matter of fact, it has to stop. This constant harassment of one another, all, because, all in the name of politics, has to stop. We need to develop a system where politics is not a do or die affair. Campaign. Let your voice be heard. Let the people know that you have true intention to lead them. But it has, no, it has nothing to do with violence and must not be done with violence. As a matter of fact, Nigerians, we need to grow up. So the fact that when these people start pressurizing us and start, you know, making it a do or die affair, we show them that they are not qualified to be our leaders. How can people go ahead and begin to, you know, harass people, vandalize vehicles, and nobody is saying anything? This is, un this is, un this is unacceptable. It is absurd. This is something that should never be encouraged in any civilized society at all. What is going on in this country? We have to stop this and we have to stop that by our actions, by standing on the side of integrity and making these people know that anyone who is going to instigate any form of violence will not be voted for. As a matter of fact, that person should be, you know, should be taken out of the race. Anyone who is, who is a perpetrator or if you catch any of their people saying, oh, he, I'm, 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 I'm for this person, their supporters, you know, instigating any kind of violence, detrimental to the fundamentals of human life and you in fact that kind of person should not be allowed to contest under no circumstances should such a person be allowed to contest this has to stop nigerians once upon a time we have to stand on what we believe we have to stand on the side of truth and integrity for if we allow these people to continue just the way they are they are going to continue to misbehave and do what have you Living, you know, you know when when these things happen, not just them are the ones that are being, you know, that are being uh, uh, attacked. It also goes to other people. This is wrong, and should not be accepted at all. Anyway, Nigerians, this is what is happening currently now as we speak. This is what is going on, uh, and we want to say it is wrong. It should not be accepted. Nobody should accept such. And then we should speak against any, any form or anything that instigates destruction of life and property. And people need to stand up to the fact that we are a people of integrity and we don't stand with those who commit or are as associated with violence. Anyway, my people, what do you think? Don't forget to like or share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. Thank you so much. Remember, I do state elections a few days to go. Uh, 36 hours from now precisely come out in mass and vote for the candidate of your choice. God bless you. Have a fantastic day.